it a bit more to keep it off the water right? <laughs> but then I'm... that's some skill right there yeah it's just your aiming and stuff yeah yeah, yeah. Oh. right wow. that was a miles better cast awesome. instantly instantly so straight up Right then guys, so a little bit of fly fishing for beginners and this really is for beginners today because I have never even picked up a fly fishing rod in my whole entire life so it's going to be a complete new ball game, a massive learning curve but hopefully we'll catch fish with it today. I've done a tiny bit of research leading up to this but only on the basics. I like to sort of figure it out for myself but obviously there's things I don't know that I need to know so I've sort of done a little bit of reading and hopefully we can catch a couple of fish. Let's go fishing shall we? Let's go. Right then guys, so you've got your trout rod. Now the, the first thing I did was buy like a kit, it all come together. The reel was already on there, the fly line was already on there. The only thing you had to put on here, so you've got your fly line. I can't remember what this little thing's called here, it's like a little braid buffer thing. Your actual line goes on here and I think you're supposed to use fluorocarbon on there. And I've got maybe a four foot leader and at the end of there we have a fly and all we're using are these little mayfly flies can you see that perfect and hopefully that'll do the biz because it's that time of year these things are flying about and falling in the water and the and the trout are going straight after them so that should be an absolutely perfect fly to use today they're the only flies i've brought so it's all we can use yeah this leader is basically just like a hook length i was a bit confused when i actually started reading about it and i was like a leader what could this possibly mean but it's basically just a long hook length of fluorocarbon down to the hook and that's it it's time for casting and this is the hardest part right then guys so you've got everything set up now it's time to cast and this is the most difficult part i'll get about a rod's length worth of the fly line out oh that yeah and then pale the line off here loads and the aim of the game is to get the fly to where the fish are which is over there and under that tree so when you're casting from what i can gather there's you're supposed to do it on sort of a clock first where or you start at two with the cast and end at ten there and that's supposed to be the best watching this back now has made me realize that i actually have no idea what i am talking about so let's skip forward to one of the best fishing lessons i've ever had have you had out? Have you had out? No, no, I've not been here long. Yeah? You? No, it's my first ever time fly fishing. Oh, right. I'll come give it a whirl. Yeah, I've been a few times. Yeah? On the river I've, had a few, I've been a few times. It's just a couple of nice spots. Yeah. It's been a more recent spot because uh, of how low water is. Yeah, I know, yeah. Normally you can't get nowhere near on here, but... I've heard a couple smallish ones topping in there. One's just top where that black basically shadow is. Yeah. That were a nicer bot a top than, than, them, than that little one over there. But. You do see quite a lot of them topping round here like yeah. I usually just sent lures after them but I thought I come and give this a go, you know what I mean? Yeah. Why not? Got any tips for me or what? <laughs> what have you just got here? No. Oh no, I've been fishing for about an hour, I've been up near Weir. Do you know, it's very shallow though, is it? Oh, very shallow, yeah. yeah. No, I've not fished that one. Yeah. I've fished near the weir. Uh, I just thought I'd start there and work my way down. When dogs aren't in, yeah. next peg along, just just up and down. Where, if you can almost see where deeper channel goes, far side at deeper channel, bringing it just back into the deeper waters, usually where fish hold up to come. Because they're not dogs bosh, they don't they don't they don't want to be nowhere near. Yeah, them. yeah. So anything like that, but spot wise, so there's a nice spot. If you can get in, it's hard to get in. But the one just before the bridge, where it's calm like this. Yeah. 
cast into the bridge and back towards you. I've had a couple of nice trout out there, but this that was like over a year ago in there. Right. Um, but the one after the bridge, so go over the bridge, and it bends round to go to where that ruined castle is. Yeah, yeah. Just before, as it bends, there's that bit you can go through down there. I saw some guy last time I was here. I was fishing. In fact, there's another spot, but I was fishing just below the weir but to get to it you've got to climb down somewhere it's like friggin dodgy yeah but when you get onto that there's like a bit like this do you know what i mean just yeah, yeah, the weir, yeah. casting over into running water just Loads just below there. the weir on like when you sit on bridge you can see it yeah 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 i know what you mean yeah you get into it last nightmare time I, I did but yeah <laughs> i mean it was lucky i had my wellies to get out of it because it was shallow but it, it were like here yeah so I don't bother with them, man. I'd, I'd just get my feet wet, be right. Yeah, but that's a really good spot because I've had a few nice little trout from in there. Uh, and I've had a perch, actually, from there. Yeah, what on fly? Yeah? Yeah, if you have right colour. If you have like a... I don't know what you call it. It's basically glazed, but red. Right. It's just pure red and smooth. It imitates a maggot. They yeah, love it. Yeah. They love chasing the red. Anyway, I lost that one last time I was at uh, last time I went to the lake with it. it snapped me. <laughs> it was a nice fish as well. <laughs> Good. But well, I must have had a kink in line because it I, we're playing it like every other fish. And yeah. It was gone. Right. I didn't realise so. Do you use floating flies or sinking ones? Bit of both. Yeah. Um, I am good. This is a this one's a slow sinker. I just had a, a beetle that sinks quite quick. Yeah. But I'm not using sinking gear. I'm using floating gear. Yeah. So then you've got to put an extra long leader on so for me i'm using a hell of a length yeah, yeah to get it down in water if i was using a sinking line i could have used a short one because i know it all big fish just top there look just there right there it'd be about where you're fishing as well do you know what i've just brought that i've just had that beetle coming through there because i, w I got down here i'll get any line out water. i got down here and i literally just went uh, just in front of it, just there, just to just flick it out so I could draw some more off. And yeah. I, just, I pulled it back and I saw a shimmer. And I was like, <laughs> but I was like, nah, I can't, it can't be right there. Yeah. But yeah, it was. Definitely. Might but, have... I mean, if you feel free to go up just this top corner and try this bit, I'm just going to be, I'm going to be trying this bottom corner. Yeah. There. You can have a go, mate. I don't I'm know. fully um, a novice. I don't know what I'm doing. I've only, ju I've just been up there trying to learn myself how to cast. You know what I mean? Right. Bit, bit of a nightmare. I don't know if a it, rod rod length would be about right, is it? It's can't yeah, be. What's yours? Nine five. foot. Yeah. Mine's a nine foot six, seven yeah. slash eight weight. What's your weight? I don't even know. I should say on the side. It's an eight foot five weight. So ah, yours, right. yours is more. Des Mine's designed to be sending it out on reservoirs. Right. But I take it here because I know I can get distance. Yeah, yeah. Um, I didn't want a big one because it's usually perfect. quite tight. Five weight is five to six weight. It's perfect for uh, uh, river fishing. Right. You're not having to cast far. Yeah, yeah. Um, and what length have you got on? Is it, is it just from there to... The I've, I cut it down because it was getting a bit of a nightmare with casting, you know what I mean? I've got a little mayfly on there. Yeah. Oh, on the surface? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Little thingy my digger. I've got a few of them, like, I just lost one down there by accident. Did you? But I'd have a... I'd have a longer least, leader. I'd have at least a rod length's worth. Yeah, I was trying that, but then it was just like... I, I've not I've not nodded, not nodded, but just, if, it, if you just, just take your time with it, just, just really gently. Slowly. What, what, what the bites look like on that? Hey? What the bites look like? Uh, you feel it in your hands right. more than it, you can. If I was to, because when it goes out of sight, I'm thinking, how am I going to know if a fish has got out of it? Yeah. So say I've got it here now. I can't see where that is. Yeah. I have no idea. I'm just going to leave it because I know full well I've just cast it out. It won't be sinking quick or it won't be sinking at all. It's only a tiny little. I'm just waiting for it to sort of go in that region of where that was. So all I'd do then sink it. Just give it like. So I'm getting fly under the water. Yeah. But then all it is, if anything, right, and I, you were walking along watching the end now, you'd, you'd see, see it go. Right, you'd right, I'm with you, yeah, yeah. But if anything, when you're just gently drawing it back, if a fish nips it, you feel every little nip. Yeah. So the line is super sensitive, it's, it's weird. But when you get a, when you get a bite, it, you can, it's like... Doo -doo -doo. Right. And often, you won't even have time to strike or anything. It's not, it's not like a striking game. Um, they just mouth it straight up and go away, run away. Either nip it or 
it'll just lock up and it's in. Then well, you yeah. can then you can lift up, but you're not exactly striking. By rights, it does the job for you. Uh, as soon as yeah. they, you're bringing back and the resistance locks it in. Is that what you do? Just slowly bring it back towards you like that, yeah, like a lure. Just try your diff try your different methods. So if it's something you wanna be a bit quicker, you just wanna be a little bit slower. It just depends on the weight. If you're on the surface, I wouldn't. I'd put it just before the shadow and I'd just watch it. Yeah, that's what I've been just doing. Follow yeah. It down. Follow it down. Follow it down. Follow it down. I feel down like if they it. if they hit that on the surface, you're gonna know about it, aren't you? You see them take it. It's yeah. the most amazing spectacle. Yeah, I've tried filming it quite a lot, like, but it's quite difficult. What the hell? But that's that's a decent old cast, that. Yeah, but I've I've been fly fishing for you. I, th I <laughs> think yeah, that, I think this um, the fly line's a bit too new. It's a bit stiff. Do you know what I mean? I feel like once a bit of use gets on it. Yeah. It might be able to cast a bit better. Did you did you get it all set up? Oh, it was yeah, literally yeah. it yeah. come as it is, yeah. Yeah, nice. Yeah. I bought it this morning. Oh really? <laughs> this morning, yeah. Where'd you get it from? Uh, go outdoors. It's the only place I could find some in York. Whoa. I live in York, and I went to the tackle shop, and they had absolutely nothing. They didn't even have any flies. So I it was like you know. The only place you could really go is to Bobco in Leeds. And I was like, I'm not really, I'm not driving all the way there. Yeah, so Leeds I went, is uh, Bobco. And angle, even the Angle Indirect don't sell fly stuff. You right. have to go Bobco. Yeah. Or order online. That was, and then I, I thought, I'll just go see what Go Outdoors have got. And I managed to find this. Thought, oh, I'll do it then. It's only 30 quid. Bargain. Oh, mate, that's that's not bad. Bargain. And um, I mean, just uh, I, I'm, to tips for, if you've just started out, it's literally just get yourself a... An, an all right length. I mean, this is this is the this is perfectly equipped to this. Yeah. So the line weighs the rod. So when I'm doing it, but the thing is with it, just be just be gentle. Don't worry about it. Yeah. It's hard on river because you've got to watch what's behind you. Yeah. Um, but when you've got a short line out, especially with a long bit of leader, come back, go forward. What line you have? You got some fluorocarbon on there. Uh, what on end? Yeah. So I so what what's the line you're using? This is a six pound fluorocarbon. Oh nice. Right. So what I'm using is a seven pound leader. Yeah. And yeah. And I've got a four pound tippet line to line. Right. To, so it's even less. Right. Even, I s even less. I did see something about tippets, but I didn't really read that far into it. Is that? Do you have two flies on there or just one? No, just one. Yeah. Uh, I have. I've tried, people I know have come fish with free and I don't know how they do it. Nah, that sounds a bit dodgy. Like how they do it. So, um, yeah, no idea. But, just set it up mate, I'll give, I can give you a, <laughs> go on, a few tips and that. Yeah, go for it, it, yeah. I'm here for a few hours, so it's... That'd be great. I do you know I've I come down here a lot. I've never, see, I've never seen anybody fly fishing down here. Have you not? Never. They, there's a lot that usually. Oh, this one. Oh, it's a slow sinker, yeah. When it. Because well, it's I've had it in water. When it's dry, it floats quite a lot. Come on then. You just watch me and tell me if I'm doing it right. Yeah, Hold on. I've got a tangle. It's that, do you know that? Yeah, yeah. I feel like I, that's wrong. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Do you mind if I have a little? Crack on, just crack see on. what it's. Uh... Yeah, go for it. I bet you'll be, you'll have technique, and I thought that's what it's going to take. You see that? That's Straight technique right there. But it is, but it, I mean, the line's not that bad actually. I, I thought if I get it in the sun, it might supple it up a little bit and be a little bit, yeah. So, so for this, just just literally, don't come, don't come above your shoulder. Right. Don't go right back here. Yeah. Because you start like, I mean, I'm doing it anyway, but <laughs> uh, you see what I mean? Just up and just don't worry about behind you. Hold it on to forward. Right. That's perfect. On to forward. You won't ever. It won't ever be a. And then that's how, I mean, distance-wise, start low, just just get your practice of doing this, okay? And then once you've, you're okay at that, then when you flick forward, let go. 
That was a good cast. That's probably the best cast I've seen all day, yeah. yeah. It's uh, getting it to come straight that I find difficult. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, oh, it, I mean, it's how I got taught by a very nice guy. I went to a youth club and uh, we were fortunate to know this uh, professional at yeah. the time. And he taught us and uh, I, I fell for it. As soon as I got my first fish on Fuston Reservoir, yeah. I, was, I was hooked. Um, we fly fishing. I do a lot of carp fishing. I very, very don't do a lot of fly fishing. Yeah. But I have some nice gear because I used to do a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, that's all. It, literally, like I say, you just come straight up. The line does the work. Yeah. Flick it forward. Come up. And it's the pause because people don't pause. They think, oh, I've got to. Yeah. You yeah. see what I mean? Yeah. Even though I'm doing it up and just flick it forward. But then, like I've just done, then I just let go. That's that's great. Yeah, that's Practice, totally uh, perfect. And, perfect. and then again, same same as you think. I mean, I'm having to because we haven't got much clearance. We've got a bit more room here, but so I'm then doing my side casting. So all I'm doing is I am giving it a bit more to keep it off the water. Right? <laughs> but then I'm that's some skill right there. Yeah, it's just your aiming and stuff. Yeah, yeah. No, by all means, start out with about that. Perfect. But oh, whichever hand did you have? I can't. I didn't know did you did you hold it with this hand or do you? Yeah, yeah. But I'm I'm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. That's it. That's it's that. Just up. Just that was a, a miles better cast already. Um, you went back over Too far, just too far. To so there. There you go. Right, uh, that was a miles better cast awesome. instantly, instantly. So straight up. Straight I didn't wait. Go you, don't go above your head. That's it. Oh, do you know what? You've instantly made my casting ten times better. I don't believe it. <laughs> Honestly, it's it, 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 with, with a, a little bit of practice when you watch it as well. Yeah. yeah. Just that. Yeah, I know that's yeah. crazy. That yeah, yeah I've been struggling down bushes, there. Almost, if you bring it, get a bit more in because you're almost catching top of bushes. That's all. Perfect. Perfect. Jesus, that right. is unbelievable, man. Look at that. Now you're on, that's where I'd be saying as far about as there. Yeah. Towards you every time. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate that, man. That's invaluable, that sort of information. You know, it took me ages to figure that out. Right then, guys, so what's happened here is I've been filming for about two hours before this, and with it being a really, really hot day, no wind whatsoever, the camera's actually overheated and absolutely ruined one of my memory cards. I'm lucky to have the footage that I have, but what followed on from this was one of the best fishing lessons I have ever had in my life. This guy, Matt, he was called, took about two hours out of his day to teach me how to fish. I'd never even met him before. And I think this is exactly what fishing should be about. Me and Dom have this sort of running joke at the moment where whenever we ask anybody for any information or any tips relating to fishing, you know what I mean, they're always so reluctant to give us an answer, which is an absolute nightmare. So for this guy to spend two hours of his only day fishing to teach me how to fish, where to fish and what to fish with, absolutely amazing conduct right there. And we went on to actually catch some fish. I wish I had the rest of the footage because this guy was absolutely full of wisdom. This was one of the best fishing encounters I have ever had in my life. After he taught me everything I needed to know, we parted ways, but I made sure to shake his hand and thank him for his generosity. I did film an outro for this video on location, but I don't feel like that really matters now. So thanks for watching this episode, guys. Please smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye. We're in the bush, we're in the bush. I never said we were as good at it, I said we were going to learn together. Mm -hmm.